Now, emerging markets have become uh, very exciting for a lot of people because of uh, the fast growth uh, these markets are offering. So if I go to any multinational company's uh, boardroom today, uh, all they talk about is the emerging markets because that's where most of their growth is coming from. And also as you're thinking about uh, shift in geopolitical power, clearly uh, the BRIC countries are often mentioned as the future uh, source of economic growth and, and power in, in, in the world in the 21st century. Uh, obviously Latin America uh, is experiencing uh, you know, unprecedented uh, growth rates uh, as part of this phenomenon. And um, uh, Brazil clearly is the most uh, well-noted example, but uh, across the board in Latin America, uh, the growth rates have been uh, historically not as great as in the last several years and are expected to continue to be uh, great. And part of the uh, link between Latin America growth and growth in India and China is coming through the commodity and the agribusiness link. Uh, uh, as India and China consume more uh, natural resources, as their uh, populations consume more food, clearly uh, Latin America has a very important role to play as uh, one of the largest producers of uh, food products as well as uh, a place where there are many raw materials that are av available. And on top of it, many Latin American companies themselves are uh, working to become future multinational companies. Uh, Certainly, Brazilian companies uh, have made a mark uh, in, the, in the world in uh, several areas in this, in this respect. Mm -hmm.